call on uh, Brother Ernie Sandy, a member of the Rama First Nation, uh, to welcome you to this place uh, on, on, on behalf of his people. My first language is uh, Ojibwe, and uh, to share that with you, to talk to the ancestors that have gone before us and uh, asking for their continued guidance, uh, continued support, and continued uh, you know, um, to watch over us as we, I guess, fight the uh, formidable, formidable uh, uh, enemy, which is sometimes uh, um, the media, sometimes uh, arrogant, sometimes uh, you know everything that uh, goes against uh, you know uh, uh, social justice. Um, and I was talking with a young lad there, uh, where, where he is, uh, that uh, oh yeah okay you know. Uh, um, in the, the annihilation of, uh, of uh, indigenous people, uh, I, I, was, I was reading somewhere, it's mentioned to him that, uh, you know, they, 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 could, they, they had to shoot us because they, they couldn't kill us. They, they, couldn't, uh, you know, um, uh, they couldn't kill our spirit. And, you know, uh, they were able to beat us, uh, beat us physically, emotionally, and mentally. But uh, when, when you... Uh, Kill the spirit, then you kill the individual. That's why uh, some some most suicides can be related to that. Uh, you know how my people and other peoples as well, through subjugated people, can be you know uh, kill their spirit, and you kill that person. So when I pray, I pray to the uh, uh, grandmothers and grandfathers that have gone before us that uh, we hold on to their hold on to their their uh, roots, much like the, uh, the trees in the forest. Uh, very much uh, uh, connected to Mother Earth, and our roots are connected to to the uh, to, to our ancestors too. Bojo on the nak mishom sak kinwa gane ni gane ek. You can rise if you want. Kinwa kinwa gane ni gane ek. Ma ma bagimingo se ma chigdon gago. Shomsonanik, Nunkusnanik, Ganinigani, Jack. Up to Madame Scotty and got Madame Skeke, up to Madame Scotty and got the King a shake non drum. Me, my butcher at go in Drain Dagnan, Chinishnabe Kadamajik, Gabber Equamian. Me, my get wet winching, the sing Maba, Gaby Maba, and Gig that Gig that as you scale is it going with a market called Gamishuabak. Kino ang dosyal. Abdi ko may udomin man da king ese ese kikeo sit. I applaud uh, uh, Kevin in his courage, in his uh, unrelenting message, so that the people will understand what uh, real Canadian history is all about, what the real American history is all about. Um, as a part-time uh, part-time uh, teacher at the university and college level, I, I'm doing my best to get that message out there. That message I had uh, students, uh, you know, in uh, uh, numerous speaking engagements to, to get that message out there. Because I said the real Canadian history is not com is not is incomplete if it doesn't include the First Nations people here. That's right. And um, so these are the things that uh, I I. Uh, uh, also, ask the grandmothers and grandfathers that they, they help us continue to. We can draw upon them, you draw upon the, the, your ancestors, you know, the, so that we continue to walk together. When we're when we're strong spiritually, we can we can, as the a favorite Negro saying, we shall overcome. We shall overcome the uh, you know, the barriers that uh, you know have uh, held us back, and that we we forge paths for our children. Those children and our children's children, because when when we when we when we demonstrate that we're strong spiritually, we go get more nasab, get 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 and then after that more giving more. So I'm the mighty only king. The government should show us, and government should go going. And when we stand together, we will we'll cast shadows in, into the into the next generation. This is what they've seen. This is what they've seen in terms of uh, our strength our strength and brotherhood and all our relations and when I say all our relations can go dinner and out and I'm you name to be it you know what is it mom to make you know one king is she is in the cane make say all our relations 
and we are we're brothers we're brothers um, I use the analogy sometimes if the if the lights went out here we'd all be the same color it's a color that's in our heart it's what's in our heart that that really matters um, and many years ago I used to teach philosophy and uh, and you know the one person who has the best sight is a blind person because he has not, he or she can judge can judge using using the eyes it's it's what's it's what in his or her heart um, but let's say I've, I've uh, in contact with uh, Kevin off and on over the years, uh, perhaps in up to 10 years, and you know, I always admired, I admired his, even at the most, uh, I think at the time of uh, uh, violence was imposed upon you in one time, you know, and you know, even, uh, even after all that. I remember one of the uh, um, statements that sticks in my mind is, if I wasn't a white man, I'd be, I'd be dead now. You know, and if, uh, if I were to take out the same same route as uh, Kevin, I'd probably be, you know, uh, you know it's, uh, government has a fancy way of uh, making it disappear. And, you know, I mean, it's kind of a sad thing to say. But uh, with this with this tobacco, it uh, symbolizes symbolizes the strength that we still have. It's still have in brotherhood. It's still have in sisterhood. It's what makes going to make a, a difference in uh, today's in today and tomorrow. And. As I mentioned, a uh, part-time teacher, and I and I have uh, part-time lecturer, and I have students. There's thirst for knowledge. Um, I use the uh, I use the uh, uh, I guess philosophical way of uh, cultivating the minds of today for tomorrow, so that they'll have something, uh, the, the seeds the seeds of thought that they can draw upon that they've learned that they learned from universities and college. These are things that uh, you know. The, Proud, proud to present this in Ishnabe, and that we we reach out, reach out to say, uh, we're not looking for sympathy. We're not looking for uh, uh, some to feel sorry for us. We're looking for you know, to to understand and to see beyond beyond the media, beyond the you know what you see on television, what you hear hear and see on television. It's when you when you ask ask an Ishnabe, great uh, Mishnan, ask us, we'll tell you. Will tell you the real story, and, uh, and Kevin has been doing a wonderful work, a wonderful uh, you know, job of that over over the years, and you know, against all ad ad adversaries, and you know, to be able to to get that message, and you know, and uh, say I can't say enough about Kevin, you know, and others as well too, who who walk walk that path of uh, trying to civil civil justice. Um, and I always um, uh, use the um, uh, exponential, it's a fancy word for saying, uh, tell, tell other people. Uh, if there's uh, 50 people here, tell 50 people that the message will get out there. It will eventually get out there. You know, we can only uh, draw upon our, our spiritual strength. And when we get to draw upon our spiritual strength, the emotional strength will build up, and the mental strength will build up, and the physical strength will build up. And you see the, uh, the sufferings that we uh, see today, witness, and may, may see in the video, um, it, it's un, un, incomprehensible. Uh, um, it's beyond imagination and what uh, what uh, you know what's been done to a people you know and uh, with that uh would say to me great cups into a kid um shumpson on it not miss on kicking on the media we got me like miss shumpson on is our grandmothers and grandfathers who has gone before us you know that we draw upon upon your strength and you know so thanks to Ernie Sandy from the Rama First Nation for your greetings to this meeting. And now I want to uh, introduce uh, an extraordinary person who I uh, knew in a previous life uh, when he was active in Southern Ontario on the left. And uh, he's, he's gone on to, uh, to be a real troublemaker. But you know, in a, in a world full of injustice, if you're not a troublemaker, there's something wrong with you. We need to make trouble for the establishment and the, and the, uh, the customary normal ways of doing things which basically disempowers and, um, and undermines 
uh, the rights and conditions of, uh, of ordinary people, the vast majority. So it's with uh, great pleasure that I introduce the author of uh, Unrepentant, Disrobing the Emperor, Hidden No Longer, Genocide in Canada, Past and Present. Uh, Kevin Annett is a former United Church uh, minister, now a community pastor, uh, co-founder of the new International Tribunal into Crimes of Church and State. Boy, that's a full-time job. Um, uh, he'll be reviewing the 20-year campaign to bring to justice the churches and governments responsible for the continued genocide of indigenous peoples of Canada during the 150 years of Indian residential schools. Please give you the warmest welcome to Brother Kevin. Thank you. Thanks for coming. And uh, Brother Ernie, it's always uh, an honor to stand with you and, the, and all of the, the people with us today before and after us. Um, I wanted to acknowledge a few people before we start, and for me, it, it's always very much about putting a human face on what we're going to be talking about. The little girl on the left is uh, Victoria Stewart, and when she was four years old, she was kidnapped by the RCMP in a little village in Northern D.C., <coughs> taken off to the Edmonton Residential School, run by my former church, and United Church. When she was nine years old, there was a matron called uh, Ann Kaniski who worked at the school, and she was telling the kids to come in from recess. And like any little kid, Vicky was just running around having a good time. So Ann Kaniski picked up a two by four and hit her on the back of the head. And she hit her sister uh, behind, and they both got hit. But that night, Vicky began to get headaches, and she died the next morning. Both of her sisters witnessed this, and uh, Four years ago, they came to me where I work in the downtown east side of Vancouver and asked if we could somehow get uh, the church to acknowledge this. And we've been trying, and we're still at it, and there hasn't been acknowledgement. Um, so I'm holding up Vicky as, uh, as someone who, for me, puts a face on what we're talking about tonight, today. Next is my brother Bingo Dawson, who was killed by the Vancouver police in December 2009. Uh, Bingo was... Uh, had been tortured badly at, a, at the Anglican residential school in Alert Bay when he was a boy. He ended up on the street like a lot of survivors, um, but he was a great man. He, he lived on the corner of Maine and Hastings, and he was a father and a brother to everybody down there. He used to adopt street kids, give them the little that he had. And uh, when he learned about me, he used to come on my radio program, my former program on Vancouver Co-op Radio, and um, he used to just talk about life now and then. And uh, he would stand up to the police regularly. The Vancouver police, more people die in police custody in Vancouver than anywhere in Canada. Really? And most of them are Aboriginal. And Bingo, I was there one day, about two months before he died, when the police sergeant came up to Bingo and said, people like you go missing. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, uh, Bingo actually helped lead one of the occupations we did of the St. James Cathedral, a nonviolent occupation we did where Bingo walked in with a banner, uh, all the children need a proper burial, that banner that we've taken to the Vatican and all over the world. And um, he stood there at the front and was speaking to the people in the pews about the need for them to take back their church, if you like, to take responsibility for what their religion had done over the centuries, and appealing to them uh, as Christians and as people, uh, as human beings. Well, he got a lot of enemies, and they met him in a back alley, three cops, and they beat him badly. He died two days later. The autopsy says he died of alcohol withdrawal, but the toxicology report that accompanied it said there was no alcohol or drugs in the system. So how does that work? Um, Rick Lavely, who witnessed the beating, had, was told a few weeks before I left by the Vancouver police that he better not talk about what he witnessed. And I've got all that on film. And we posted it. And uh, it's like what happens with, as you know, with indigenous people. People go missing, they die all the time, they're murdered, and nothing happens. But we're going to change that. We're in the process of changing that. And uh, one of the ways we, we do change that is by finding our unity. And I know that uh, more and more today, for me, and for all of us, I believe, it comes down to certain basic things. Our future on this planet, our survival, the survival of the earth, uh, the survival of our children, and our sovereignty and rights as, as men and women. 